Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. First of all, let's see the question which of the following statement about the spleen is false. So it is direct question that in case of the spleen which is not true, that means which is false. So what is the false statement relating to the spleen? Here are the options. Options are the hilum contains the splenic vessels. The spleen is derived from endodermal tissue. The white valve has immune function. The clone lies inferiorly and weight on 50 gram. So we have to find out one of the options which is not compatible with the spleen. So first of all, you can see this is a spleen and different part of the spleen such as this is the anterior margin. So it is the posterior margin, uh, margin and this is the pancreatic surface and here this part is the gastric surface and this part where the blood vessel enters and exits it is the hilum and we can see at the level of the hilum the splenic artery and splenic vein transmit so splenic artery and splenic, splenic vein they transmit through the hilum of the spleen then in this picture we can see the same picture this is the hilum here this is the hilum of the spleen and through the hilum of the spleen the splenic vein and splenic artery passes with the tail of the pancreas here we can see this part is the tail of the pancreas the tail of the pancreas also located at the level of the hilum of the spleen and we can see some other structure which are related to the spleen such as here this is kidney and stomach and other areas such as here the diaphragm and in the second picture we can see the spleen histologically divided into the white valve and a red valve and the white valve is related to the defense of the body and a red valve is related to the blood circulation and uh, in within the spleen we can see the different type of the vein and artery also present this picture this is the spleen and the upper part it is suspended by a ligament and this ligament attached to the diaphragm and in the lower part we can see the spleen is attached to the colon here this is the transverse colon the splenic flexure and then descending colon and the lower part of the spleen it is related directly to the colon by a ligament which is the splenocolic ligament and we can see also some other ligament also present here and the stomach this area this part the stomach present and this is the normal weight of different organ in our body then we can see spleen is weight about 150 gram and um, the weight of other uh, organ here we can see brain uh, 1300 gram heart 300 gram so they are the different type of weight uh, of the organ in the body then function of the spleen uh, there are different type of functions such as immune function which is done by the white valve so immune function this immune function is done immune function is done by white valve then we can see the filtering of function filtering action function is usually done by the uh, red valve then pitting pitting reservoir function and then cytopoiesis function that means the rbc and wbc production by the spleen so they are the function in short about the spleen immune function filter function pitting function reservoir function and cytopoiesis so here our answer is now ready that the spleen is derived from the endodermal tissue it is not true because spleen is derived from the mesenchymal tissue or mesoderm so regarding spleen this option is false other options such as hilum contain the splenic vessels is true the hilum contains splenic vein and splenic artery white valve has immune function it is also true colon lies into true and weight about 150 gram which is also true so only false option that spleen is derived from the endodermal tissue it is not true because spleen is derived from the mesenchymal tissue thank you for